This is the Doomsday Clock. Doomsday Clock. The 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 doomsday clock. A symbolic countdown to existential danger. It was designed in 1947 by artist Martin Langsdorff, and the bulletin of the atomic scientist moved its hands to show how close humanity is to disaster. Midnight, that means global catastrophe, nuclear war, climate collapse, or technologies run wild. Back then, the greatest threat was nuclear weapons. The first time the clock appeared, it stood at 7 minutes to midnight, a stark reminder that atomic age had just begun. Over the decades, as tension shifted, the hands moved forward and back, depending how safe or dangerous the world seemed. But today, the clock doesn't just measure the risk, it accounts for climate change, pandemics, biological threats, and disruptive technologies like artificial intelligence. In 2025, the bulletin pushed the clock ever closer to 89 seconds to midnight, the closest it has ever been. That's one second closer to the previous setting. They cited nuclear tension, climate extremes, worsening geopolitical conflict, and the misuse of emerging tech as driving factors. So how does Bulletin decide? Each year, the Science and Security Board meets, examine global risks across multiple domains, and debate where the hand should move. It's not about predicting the future, it's a warning. It tells us we are closer than ever, every second comes. But here's the important part. The doomsday clock isn't a prophecy, it's a call to action. We can push back the hands, we can collaborate, innovate, and change course. Because this clock doesn't have to strike midnight. It's not doom written in stone, it's a reminder that we still hold the power to reverse time.